Hello, welcome to Aging Well. My name is Nathan Lamb, I'm your host. And with me today is my fabulous guest, Jeannie Leiden. Thank you, Nathan. Welcome to the show. So Jeannie is going here today to talk with us about our adult family care program at Somerville Cambridge Elder Services. And it's a really great program and we're um, pretty excited to dive right in and talk about it. So. Okay, thank, well thank you for having me, it's a pleasure. Um, yes, the Adult Family Care Program, we work out of some of the Cambridge Elder Services. So the Adult Family Care Program, if you hear the name, it also means adult foster care. And really it's a mass health funded program that serves um, clients ages 16 and up. I think our youngest client in this program is 18 right now and our oldest might be 104. So we have a wide range of ages, a wide range of um, medical diagnoses, uh, mental health diagnoses. Um, in this program. So it's a program where a participant wants to stay at home, wants to be, you know, least restrictive environment, and they need help with activities of daily living, like bathing and dressing. Mm. And they need help, and we have a caregiver who prize, provides help in a home setting. So we have probably, um, in our program, we have about 260 families right now. Mm. And a majority, I'd say three quarters of our um, families are people that know each other, like a, a family, a mother taking care of a child, a child taking care of a parent. It may be a sibling or a friend. They kind of know each other. And they get the support of a nurse and a social worker in the home setting, mm -hmm. and they get a tax-free stipend for, for taking care of um, their loved one. The only thing with, you cannot be a caregiver if you're um, a spouse of a person or a legal guardian. But we also have cases where we need to find home for pieces, people that don't have family. So we have a home matching process where um, we have qualified caregivers who will take a person into their home. Absolutely. So it really helps people who are providing care um, in a home setting. It really helps them make it work in a, in a variety of different ways. Yes, what's, what's really nice with this program is that a caregiver, it's a 24-7 job, and um, the caregiver has the support of a social worker and a nurse, and um, our social workers and nurses, they, they're a team, they go out every single month, and they work with both the participant and the caregiver, and there's a lot that we do with caregiver stress, there's a lot that we do with teaching about medications, um, medical diagnoses, anything that comes along. So. It's a support for family, and you know, to really validate, um, it's not always easy being a caregiver. Absolutely, and the requirements are basically uh, must be Mass Health eligible, and they must uh, the person receiving care um, must require daily help. Yes, the Mass Health. Um, eligible, the person needs to require care with activities of daily living. And we have two different levels in this group. Um, and our client, the need a level one client would be a person that needs cues and supervision for one activity of daily living. And that's ADLs. And for, for you know, a lot of the lay person, what is an ADL? Mm -hmm. Activities of daily living. So bathing, dressing, ambulating, eating. So, uh, you know, we get a referral, some, someone calls in, does this person really need help? They can't bathe on their own, they don't dress on their own, they need help ambulating. So cues and supervision would be our level one participant. An example of our level one participant is we have many younger um, clients with developmental disabilities. We have um, some with um, traumatic brain injury, um, some with um, mental health diagnoses. A lot, that's a lot of our younger clients. Then we have the level two client, which is um, a much needier client, and that's a person that needs physical hands on hand, hands on hands assist with two or more activities of daily living. So physical help to bathe, to dress, to eat, to ambulate, to transfer. So the physical help. Mm. And so there's definitely a lot of different scenarios where you guys can help people uh, make it work. There, there are so many different scenarios. We have, um, happy to say that we've had some real success stories taking people out of nursing homes mm. that have advocated for themselves. We had an individual um, that spoke only Spanish and she was in a nursing facility where no one did. Mm. And we were able to match her with a caregiver. 
um, who spoke Spanish and um, and the caregiver had a background in nursing mm. and she's out of the nursing home really really happy living in you know not a restrictive environment in a loving caring home that they speak the same language so oh, that's great yeah and for the live-in caregivers the requirements one of them is they must live with the person receiving care uh, what are some of the other things that you're looking for when you get an application for living? Yes, we do a um, really thorough screening of a caregiver, whether it's a family member or we're matching a, a person in a family. Same screening process goes out. So first we want to make sure that this person is a loving, caring individual and they're going to provide a safe, loving home for this individual. That's the number one priority. So our whole screening process is... We go out and we do a whole assessment, a psychosocial assessment, um, with both the participant and the caregiver, but the caregiver asking specific questions and, um, you know, what their background is, is likes and dislikes, um, have they had any issues with different things, and we do a criminal background check, a Medicaid check on people, we do criminal background checks on anyone else living in the home, we ask for personal, professional references, we get a doctor to to sign off that yes, this caregiver is appropriate to provide care. And then our nurse and social worker meet them and talk to each other and get to know each other. Mm -hmm. So after all that is done, we will say, yes, this is an appropriate caregiver, or no, it isn't. In mm -hmm. most cases, it is, except if a criminal background check mm -hmm. came back. So that's, that's part of it, qualifying the caregiver. We also have to qualify in the home setting that it meets mass health um, criteria, you know, like fire extinguishers, first aid kits, um, safe landing going in, and things like that. And generally, how long does that screening application process take? We have, our hope is that when we get a referral, that we respond to a referral within two days, mm -hmm. and that our nurse and social worker is out to do an assessment and evaluation within 10 days. Mm -hmm. And our hope, our, our hope for a good turnaround time would be 45 days mm -hmm. um, from time of referral to placement. And the things that, you know, would hold this up is if we, we need a sign off from either a nurse practitioner or a primary care physician, that this person is eligible for the program, they, they need to sign off on that. Um, and TB screening and the different things we may, that could hold us up if we don't get it. But we've um, gotten pretty good at, at getting physicals and things like that back mm -hmm. in a timely manner. Now, one more thing before we go to break. Yeah. I know in the past we've spoken about this and uh, so it's not really a surprise, but in the past, I've heard you say that you love this program. Can you tell me I a little bit about that? I love this program. Like, I became a nurse really late in life, and I graduated at 40, and I changed, you know, I, I, I did two, every two years I would change my job just to get the different experiences. And this job, adult family care, is everything I could ever hope for. Um, you know, I'm the director of the program, but I'm also the nurse, so I give clinical oversight uh, to our clinicians. Um, but we get to be with families, we get to work with clients in need, and, you know, um, working, uh, I was a um, psychiatric nurse for uh, many years, and we see a lot of um, our clients have some, some kind of mental health diagnosis, and it, it's great feeling to know that we can provide support in the home setting to these clients. Um, I love working with the team of nurses and social workers that we have. It's, and the families just, we get so close to them. We get to know these families because we're out there every single month. So it, it's just, it, it's a dream job to me, truly. I, I love and believe in this program. I've been doing it for 16 years. Oh, that's really great. I think that's it for our first segment. Uh, we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back.